Great evening. I actually haven't done a video for my house. I just figured out that I can actually record with my laptop, which is pretty amazing. And um, I was just having a conversation and I became present to the fact that we are most of the time living in fantasy land. And fantasy land, I refer to a land of the mind, the mind, the, the land of the thoughts, you know, the land of everything that is going on in your head that you believed for a long time that was actually true. The stories that as you were growing up, you started to create these stories around your loved ones, around your family, your friends, situations, the environment, the world. Just stories that you've been conditioned to since you could remember from your first thoughts. It's always been a story and you've stuck with that story. And you've never even actually created a space and actually questioned the story and to really question the, valid the validity of it and it's, if it's true. But the, real re but the real thing is that that story is, is not true. And you could choose to evaluate it and then recreate it in a way where it serves you in the highest good, where it allows you to be the happiest person you could be that allows you to love every person on the planet to serve the planet to contribute you know to help other people all of the things that you would want to live like you I, I know that I mean I honestly grew up with a lot of thoughts around me and I used to live in a tiny little box growing up I was very insecure I um, I didn't have many friends I also was extremely shy and uh, I, I didn't have a lot of self-confidence. I mean, I had a story that because of, you know, my environment and everything that I went through, like there's, that's just the way it is. And I don't believe in anything bigger than what I thought the world was. And I just want you to invite you to think about, to question the world that you think you're living in. Because you're, you're not really living in a real world. You're actually living in a thought about the world that you're living in it's actually a thought it's a huge difference then I one day I became present to the thoughts that I was having and I started to become aware and I started to recognize that I could actually give each thought in my life a meaning that I could recreate it that I could make it mean what I want that I could make it mean something that is um, that feels good I started to choose the thoughts that made me feel good and I started to dominate the feeling to feel shy and I started to ignore it and really pay attention to it and then I started to recreate that and then I, I got to the point in my life where I was like so angry and so upset all the time that the voice in my head got so loud that it got so loud that I just just went silent and after that silence I started to become aware of the thoughts and I started to ignore more of my thoughts and I started to whenever I would have it, like any negative feelings or any negative thoughts I would choose to say, okay, I don't care about that, or I'm going to be numb to that, or I'm not going to pay attention to that, because you're giving it the value. You're the one that's actually giving it the value at the end of the day, so you can choose to say, like, I don't want that to affect me. I don't want that to take away my peace, and um, that's what, like, I really want you guys to think about. Question everything you've ever known. Forgive the people in your life. Forgive everybody in your life, because you are not doing anybody a service or even yourself um, by holding on to any hate or disagreements with anybody in your life. If you're holding on to anybody in your life that you have like, you know, negative emotions towards, just just release it and forgive them. Forgiveness is divine. Forgiveness is everything. If you can learn to forgive, you will be free. And forgive your past and forgive yourself more importantly than anything. And forgive yourself for all this time that you haven't like been present to the fact that you you are not like this story that you think of yourself. You're actually this moment and who you choose to be. Like the keyword is choose. Like who do you choose to be right now? I choose to be a very amazing, humble, excited, grateful, loving person. That's what I decided and I decided that now. And maybe you've been a certain way up until this moment in life. And I'm here to tell you that right now, you can choose to recreate it. You can choose to be whoever you want to be. Act like whoever you want to act. Talk like you want to talk. Walk like you want to walk. Do what you've always wanted to do. Dream as big as you want it because there's no limits to your dreams. 
All of the dreams that you have are possible. The reason why you have these ideas in your mind is because you have the ability to do it. You have within you the recipe and the formula on how to get you to your ultimate dream. It's within you. Most of us are stuck on the outside looking for all of these things and then looking at the map when we have a built-in guidance system of GPS inside of us right now that is guiding us, that is telling us where to go, that is just... You know, it's there to serve you. Like, listen to it. It's like you have a navigation on how to get to a destination and you ignore it. So stop ignoring it. Follow that intuition. Follow that calling. Listen to the navigation. Listen to the GPS within and follow your calling. You're listening to this video for a reason. There's no such thing as a coincidence. Everything is guided. Listen to the messages. Become aware. Recreate your world. You have the ability to do it.